Nestled on the banks of the St. Croix River, Stillwater, Minnesota began like many small towns. Founded in 1930 by Swedish immigrants Jesper and Elena Bergstrom, what began as a small fur trading post soon grew into a bustling Midwestern town where it thrived for over a century. And then it vanished. For nearly 150 years, a community was right on this spot. There were houses, schools, factories, stores, churches. What happened a mere few decades ago that would cause everyone to suddenly vanish, to leave, seemingly taking every stick of furniture, every shred of carpet, leaving nothing behind? If you look behind me, you see the only thing that's left here from Stillwater, Minnesota. It's this large, mysterious ring. Nobody really knows what it was here for. Was it a, a civic monument? Was it some sort of religious icon? Perhaps it was part of a larger industrial complex that once stood on this land. Nobody's really sure, and we're left with these tantalizing clues, little bits and pieces, fragments from the past. Someday, maybe we'll be able to reconstruct more of the puzzle, and that way find out more about the people that lived here and what actually took place. One popular theory plays out like so. Between 1910 and 1930, a large number of European immigrants came to the Midwest from the East Coast. With them came disease. Could a large cholera outbreak completely wipe out an entire population? And if that were the case, what happened to all the buildings and roads? The mystery of Stillwater, Minnesota lie dormant for a long time. Seemingly no one cared about what happened here. But about nine years ago, a major corporation came in at the last minute to try to start excavation and exploration of what happened in this area. This is as far as they've gotten. The machinery that was brought in now lies dormant. We contacted the company to find out what had happened, and they simply said, no comment. There are no maps, there's no planning permission, so we know very little about what the layout of the town actually looked like. Because of some fragments of journals that we found, we do know that on this spot there was once a school. On this spot, children laughed and played, teachers taught and educated. Bits and pieces can be found from time to time. This little doll, for instance. At some point, a little girl played with it and cherished it. And now, she's gone. Where? Again, no one knows. From 1831 to 1962, a thriving community was right here. And then suddenly, for some unexplained reason, poof, it was gone. What happened to the people here? What happened to the town? What happened to Stillwater? Wait, well, so where are we? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I guess it was here all along. Wait, they got a coffee shop here? Let's go.